Good morning. Um, geometry, we are in lesson 13, talking about rotations. Um, here's where I'm going to try to do some construction with you. So a little bit of a different way to record a video. If you go to your classwork, exploratory challenge. So you're gonna need a pair of scissors and a ruler. I have a pair of scissors and I just grabbed um, a protractor, which has a ruler on one side, but we're going to use the angle degrees as the lesson goes on. Cut out the 75 degree angle on the right and use it as a guide to rotate the figure below 75 degrees counterclockwise around the given center of rotation point P. Um, so first, let's follow the instructions. Place the vertex of the 75 degree angle at point P. So this is the vertex, I'm placing it at point P and line up one ray of the 75 degree angle with vertex A on the figure. So there's my ray, I just marked it, this is point A. Um, carefully measure the length from point P to vertex A. I carefully did it. Um, measure the same, measure that same distance along the other ray of the reference angle and mark the location of your new point A. So I'm just gonna draw a line along this ray and use my measurement. I could get a ruler, but this is going to be just as accurate. There is, and we're gonna say a prime. Okay, I'm gonna do one more point for you and then I'm gonna ask you to do the rest of them. Repeat these steps for each vertex of the figure, labeling, um, labeling your vertices as you find them. So let's do B. So I'm gonna line this up. There is B. I'm gonna draw this ray so that I can measure B. There's B. Okay, keep going around the figure and um, you will find at the end, you will have a nicely rotated L shape. Okay, there is A prime and B prime. Okay, but I'm not going to finish them all for you here. All right, moving on. Um, the next few pages of your classwork is just a lot of words. Um, we're gonna skim through it, but I need you to read it and highlight things that you need to remember, you feel that are important, or that you don't understand, and we can talk about it the next day in class. Um, the things that I want to talk about um, we talk out here counterclockwise is the way that we always rotate our figures in geometry. Um, if we have a clock, we have 12, 3, 6, 9. This is clockwise, which we will um, abbreviate CW. We do the same thing again. This is counterclockwise. It's opposite CCW. It's opposite the direction of clockwise. So whenever you see degrees listed, um, it's always gonna be in the counterclockwise. Basically what we see here in this really long discussion is a lot of information that we're going to talk about as we go through the lesson. Um, what we see here is when we have a rotation, the center point C is fixed. That's what we're rotating around. Um, other things that I can point out, a rotation of 180 degrees around center C is really the composition or the addition of two rotations of 90 degrees around the center C. I apologize, I keep getting interrupted. Um, so going on, it's still a lot of words that's talking about constructing rotations. Um, we're going to try to construct them as precisely as we can. Um, I really like using a compass to rotate things. Um, I think it's the easiest, but we're also going to rotate it using a straight edge and a protractor. So um, let's do one. So for exercises one through three, to determine the angle of rotation, you measure the angle formed by connecting corresponding vertices to the center point rotation. So in exercise one, D is our center point rotation. So we're gonna measure 
a d prime a prime. We're going to measure this angle right here using our protractor. So how we measure this, we put d prime in the sort of hole of the protractor. And if you look, this line right here needs to go on one of the rays of our angle. So the center goes in the, um, the hole and the ray follows along one of the lines of the protractor. So that would be our zero angle and we're coming up to, we have to extend this a little bit so we can read it. We're at zero to 75 degrees. So the measure of angle A, D prime, A prime is 75 degrees. In exercise one, measure angle A, D prime, A prime. What happened to angle D? Can you see that D is the center of rotation? Yes, because um, that is where our center is that we measured. Therefore, mapping D prime onto itself. So D and D prime are the same. Before leaving exercise one, try drawing B, D prime, B prime. Do you get the same angle measure? So let's draw that. Should we get the same angle measure? Yes, we should. So again, D and D prime are gonna go in that little hole. I'm gonna follow along there. So this is the zero angle, and then we're counting up to here, which is, looks like my drawing's a little off. I got 76 and a half, but we know that it should be 75 degrees. So, 75 degrees. Um, what about C, D prime, C prime? It will also be 75 degrees. Try finding the angle and direction of rotation for exercise two on your own. It's hard for me to pause these videos, so um, let's just go ahead and try it. Here's going to be our center of rotation. So, our original figure is going to be the solid one. Our dashed figure is going to be the um, rotated one. So let's just draw a line from our center to one of the points. And if we do C, we need to do C prime. I just realized I made a mistake up here. I'll show you what it is in a second. Okay, our center goes in E and follows along the hash mark. Looks like I need to extend that so I can read it on my protractor. So E, if I read it from zero up to here, I'm at 50 degrees. Okay, did you draw D, E, D prime or C, E, C prime? That's what I drew. And I got 50 degrees and we are in the counterclockwise direction, which is what we're supposed to do. Do you see the problem? Up here, I did clockwise, which is not correct. Um, <clears throat> so if I went clockwise, 75 degrees, I have to label it 75 degrees clockwise. So I'm at 75 degrees clockwise, or I would have 360 minus 75 or 285 degrees and I do not have to write counterclockwise. Um, that would be from here all the way over which is 285 degrees. Alright, number three. Um, it says right here now that you can find the angle of rotation, let's move on to finding the center of rotation. Follow the directions below to locate the center of rotation, taking the figure at the top right to its image at the bottom left. So we are going in that direction, right? We're gonna find the center of um, rotation. Draw a segment connecting points A and A prime. So A and A prime.
Using a compass and a straight edge, find the perpendicular bisector of this segment. Okay, if you don't remember how to do that, I will remind you. <clears throat> I have my handy dandy little compass here. So using my compass, I'm going to find the length of this segment and draw. Remember, circles, we don't have to draw the whole circle from each end point of the segment. And then connect it. Perpendicular bisector. So we're perpendicular to that segment and we bisect it in half. Draw a segment connecting points B and B prime. Find the perpendicular bisector of this segment. Let's see how we're doing. It's a little bit too big. All right. One end point and the other. Connect to get my perpendicular bisector. Okay, we're right here and right there. The point of intersection of the two perpendicular bisectors is the center of rotation. Right here. Label this P. Justify your construction by measuring angle A P, <coughs> excuse me, A prime and B P B prime. So A P A prime, that means I need to draw some lines. <coughs> excuse me. So I'm going to put P in the opening there. And that ray of the angle goes along here for zero. <coughs> Excuse me. Angle up and I'm at 80 degrees. Now let's try the next one. So many lines. Let's hopefully I can keep them all straight. Oops. <laughs> P goes in the center, follow along the ray, zero to B, P, B prime, A, P, A prime. Somehow there is a mistake. Okay, zero to 80, and it should be the same. Haha, I was measuring the wrong line. So here's my baseline, and it goes here. Zero to, I'm about 82. So we'll say 80 because there will be a two degree or one degree error. Okay, yes, they are both 80 degrees. Very exciting. All right. <clears throat> Find the centers of rotation and the angles of rotation for exercises four and five. I'm going to do four with you, and you're going to try five on your own. So what it said was to draw a line connecting two points, a segment connecting two points, and then the perpendicular bisectors. And then let's pick two more points. Okay, B and B prime, we can do that. Let's open this up a little bit. Oops, forgot the other half. I hope I made that wide enough. There we go. I never know where they're going to cross. 
Uh-oh. Oh, we're long enough. Good. Now where these two perpendicular bisectors intersect, that is our center of rotation. Right there. Oops, P, not B. So I'm going to erase that dot so I don't get confused. All right, so we went from A to A prime, B to B prime, and this was our center of, center of rotation. So let's figure out our angle from A, P to A prime. I'm thinking that's going to be 180 degrees. Yeah, that's a straight line there. Um, from A, P to A prime. How about the Bs? Ah, interesting. I picked the wrong center. If you guys want to do this in different color pens, it may be beneficial. So this is my perpendicular bisector. And this is my perpendicular bisector. So where this line and this line crosses is right here. That's better. I should get some colored pencils out. So now let's do our angle measure. Um, I'm just going to put a little star there. And a little star there. So it looks like it's bigger than 90. There we go. So from 0 all the way to... We're at about... 110, 15, 16, 17, 117 clockwise. So we need to figure out the counterclockwise. Let's check B. So we're drawing a line from B through the center of rotation. I'm gonna put, I don't know, an X with a circle. I'm making this up as I go along. An X with a circle. That's what we're measuring. I hate to mess that up again. Okay, along the baseline through the center. Zero to, I have 115, 16, 17, 18. I'm about 118 degrees clockwise. But remember, our center of rotation should be counterclockwise. So 360 minus, let's say, 118. You can pick 117, that's fine. Two, four, 240 degrees counterclockwise, or 118 degrees clockwise. Cool? All right, you can try number five on your own. Good job.